And we're back, and hopefully the quality is a bit better this time. Um, was recording this not in full HD. Uh, so there's a couple of things I want to fix. Um, not not actually fix, just lo small things I want to add. Um, so let's start filling this stuff out. Proceed, precede. Uh, we're gonna use something other than proceed and precede because. People are going to get them mixed up. I'm going to get them mixed up. Um, following. What's it? This, uh, this is a stupid thing to have to look up. Um, what's a synonym for proceed? I am not seeing any good synonyms for proceed predate preface you know what this is stupid we're gonna call this before and after uh, proceed and following, I think, sounds more elegant, but, like, clarity beats elegant any day, elegance any day of the week. Um, so, what we want to do to keep track of these things is basically to, uh, keep a list of the previous comment. Um, it means this should probably just be a for loop, because then I can check the, the original stuff. Yep. Sorry, everybody who likes functional programming. But in this case, I'm not going to deal with it. Uh, uh, I can get rid of that. Um, so we're going to say let comment equals node. Uh, all right, fine. Do I actually really want to just store a whole bunch of references? I think this will be clean enough. I think this will be fine. And in fact, let's start to make this cleaner and just stick these things in here. Let's just stick these things in here. See, even before and after are confusing because before, does before mean the node before me or does before mean I'm before it? I'm before this node or does it mean this is the node that's before me? And that's why I liked proceeding and... Previous and next. This is, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, I see what the crap the heck this stuff is. I need to update the previous node. So I do actually need to. I didn't save anything by switching to a for loop here. It wasn't smart. I was just trying to be lazy. Fine. I'm still, this is stupid, but I'm still like thinking like, is there a way I can get around this?
cool. What else do we want to stick in here? Um, what else is low hanging fruit that we want to grab? Um, and we're gonna have to do the full parsing stuff in here to basically just say list out all that. Well, we can do that. We can do inside here. We'll do. should not be lines it should be text equals and i'll want to clean this up later of course but um text is going to be return var lines equals comment because I will almost certainly want to like move this out into a separate utility thing almost certainly not even almost I, I will want to move this out into a separate utility set of methods um, comment dot value dot split by slash n um, lines dot. Do we finally have an array dot map in JavaScript? We've got to have an array dot map by now, right? This is what comes of using Lodash too much. Trim is native JavaScript, right? Yeah, thought so. And maybe there's even Check if new lines need to be designated special or something. I don't think they do. I think slash n is fine. Um, it's when you're reading text out of a file that this matters. When you're putting text into it, it really doesn't matter. Um, so that basically counts as parsing text. Like our test should still be passing what did we do cannot set property next of undefined um yeah this looks really ugly but whatever it does not matter it does not matter you should not be worried about how clean your code looks when you first start writing it it should it should quite literally be um get it working and write it in such a way that it's cleaner to get this stuff back later. So what we want in a secondary test, let's throw something in here. Uh, proceeding, preceding function. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Uh, previous next. Um, source equals function. Here is my block comment. Cool. Uh, here is my second block comment. Um, I'm going to grab you. We're going to save our JSON equals dormouse source. What a quicker way of like setting up these nodes, probably, at some point. This is going to be annoying to test. Uh, var graph equals function. Yeah, this is going to be annoying to test. Actually, no, it's not, is it? Um, it's sort of going to be annoying to test. going to be a little bit annoying to test. I, in fact, I don't even want to test that stuff inside here. I just want to test that the... Pr oh my goodness! What the heck? Emacs! Leave my curly brackets alone! <laughs> just <laughs> let me type! Um... Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is what I actually want. <laughs> Holy crud. This is actually going to be annoying to test, isn't it? Because I want, like, I want a, a final ID. <laughs> I want a quick way of referring to nodes. Let's let's leave off this stuff for now. Uh, whatever. Holy crud. I swear. What the heck? All right, what the heck? All right, there we go. All right, I I want to come back and like make some IDs so that this is easier to test. Um, but whatever. Uh, what I actually care about the most is that parsing stuff. Cool. All right. So we have that inside here. And we are going to say get our JSON structure out of this. And what I want is a root comment. JSON dot nodes dot list. 
it will be the first one inside there and I want to assert dot strict equal um, node dot text should equal and let's stick a string in here this should be Um, and I actually suspect off the top of my head that that's not going to be true, that it's going to look something like this. Um, because I believe that this first line is also going to get parsed. But let's check and see. What? What is, what is it then? Oh, oh, of course there's no parse. It's just a function. Forgot my own API for a sec. So, I also have stars in here because I'm not doing anything about the stars yet. Um, that would be the next thing to do. Yeah, okay. So we get an error because we have stars and what we wanted was over here. Um, that's easy enough to fix. This again gets us into this whole line type business. Um, so let's stick another to do in here. I am pretty stinking sure that they don't. So I'm just going to delete that. <laughs> um We would like to actually get rid of the first. Oh no, because we're gonna care about the comment type at some point. Um, let's put another to do in here. See, like I would use this a lot. And if I could then just pull this out into like propagate an org mode file and I could do some kind of cool stuff by, like, if it disappears from the source file, then mark it done. There's there's a lot of cool stuff that I could do with at to dos. I'm I'm actually fairly excited about that just on its own. That alone would almost be almost not quite, but almost be enough reason to build this. Arg, 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 arg comment dot value equal uh, var text equals comment dot value let's pull this stuff down text that's split in there cool um, So we're just going to drop. So what's going to happen is this is used to designate the type of block. Um, and once this is all done, I'll go back and talk more about some of the block types. I've got some kind of cool ideas. Um, post that, you get added a new line, which I guess then it means that I should have a default there. Because this looks ugly to type. This looks... Uh, this looks fairly clean to type. So I guess I should have a default in there. I shouldn't just trust myself to basically say, remove the first character. Well, yeah. For right now, at this moment, 
I'm gonna not worry about this. I'm I'm going to assume that I can remove the first character of every line. That is not actually a safe assumption to make. As soon as I get into line types, which is gonna be really soon, probably in the next video, um, we're gonna immediately jump into implementing IDs. Um, but for right now, just to, to sort of look at the test and, and make sure that things are getting parsed correctly, I'm going to say that um, that that's fine, that, that you don't need to actually do that. So it will be safe for me to do this always, 100% of the time, because you always have to, you always have to specify a comment type or you always have to specify a block type. It will not be safe for me to do this. But for right now, for right now, I'm going to do it. What blows up here? Spaces. Spaces are what blow up. The actual is prefixed by a space. So I've got to trim this twice, basically. Is that a good idea? I kind of think it's not. I kind of think because... It absolutely is not. Like, the, the space in there should be deliberate. And this is something where I should be updating the test to match. Um, Markdown can handle you having things prefixed with spaces. But let's say that, like, you do something other than Markdown. And let's say that you're doing something special with, like, indentation or something. You want to be able to do that. Like, you want you want to have the freedom to do that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to be throwing this into Markdown. Markdown will not throw up just because I, I proceeded a line with a space. Um, that will get handled perfectly. But I really think that I should be treating these like literal strings. Uh, so why did this break? Here's a multi-line comment. It has many lines. Oh, because I didn't spell correctly. What did I do now? Everything ends with a period. All right. Get rid of the stupid periods. <laughs> Get rid of the stupid periods. Why is this not passing? Here is a multi-line comment. It has many lines. Let's look at the lines. And this ends with a new line. Do I want that? Is that expected behavior? I'm tempted to say... Yes. I'm not 100% sure about that. Okay, so what's happening is that this last new line here, before the block comment ends, that gets parsed out as well. And you should be able to end like this. And you should be able to do stuff like this and like put some extra lines in there. Like that should get parsed correctly, I think. But specifically that last thing, I think that if you have a completely, completely blank new line, it should get parsed out. And maybe that's also should be the case for this right here. 
that this should be a little bit more predictable. Holy crud. All right, there we go. Um, and that's relatively simple to do. We just say return line dot length. It's not equal to zero. So now blank lines will get completely filtered out. What? What are you talking about? Oh, because nothing got returned because I have an array of undefined. Dumb errors. Here's a multi-line comment. It has many lines. Let's look at the lines. So that still gets... Oh... Poop. Well, wait. Why... When I split this... Splitting should also remove that. So like if I console.log the lines here, what's what's the problem? What exactly is the problem with this? Cool, but w as soon as I trim this, it should be... As soon as I trim this, uh, this previous line here should get removed, and then when I join these back together, it should not end with a new line anymore. So first one should get filtered. Oh, I want to stop. Don't run these. I want to only run these. Let's just get rid of you. So this would be a little bit easier to debug. So both of those should have just gotten ripped to pieces. None of them should have a slash n on the end. Which should mean that if I console.log filtered line, that should mean that those both of those should be gone yeah is completely gone so when I say lines dot join that should be an array of three And when I join those by a slash n,
that text should not be stuck with random slash ends on the end. And it doesn't. So what's the problem? Here's a multi-leg comment. It has many lines. Let's look at the lines. That looks perfect. Oh, holy crud. Did I just do that entire debugging session because I didn't check to see what I was actually looking for? Ah. Uh... Yeah, okay. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Everything should be testing now. Everything passes. Initial stuff, previous next, which we have not actually implemented. Um, because uh, representing this tree is going to be annoying um, in unit tests. Um, it's one of those, like, maybe this is one of those things where you actually do just want to print out a JSON structure and make sure that it looks the same. Um, but in order to do that, you kind of need IDs. Um, well, we basically have IDs now that they're comments, but that's not actually what I want. So there's a whole bunch of to-dos in here. This is very, very, very loose. But roughly, this is what we want, is that you have a node with a dot .text, and it is a multi-line string. I'm not breaking up the string. It's easy enough for you to do that yourself. Um, and if you're parsing it into something like Markdown, which you probably are, um, you don't want it broken up. Uh, this definitely, this kind of stuff right here um, needs to be rewritten, needs to be extracted out. I'll get to the whole idea of having multiple modules. But uh, this is good enough for right now. Um, I am actually going to stop and go get something to eat. And then we'll come back and we'll actually start thinking about this a little bit and thinking about the architecture of what that should look like. Um, and maybe I'll fix this test. <laughs>